Phil is probably the most entertaining scientist I've ever met. So Phil Blake, Dr. Phil Blake. Well, in fact, it is saying I don't believe you. For if you do 
define belief as having uh, as, as thinking something is true without evidence, which is which is kind of how I think of a woman belief, but not everybody does. But if you are asking somebody for evidence, if you're not just simply saying you're right, I hadn't thought of that, you must be right. And if you're not questioning what they're presenting, you're not being skeptical. That's what it is. You question them. You ask for the evidence. And it's not just that if somebody presents you evidence, that's not, uh, that's not enough. Their evidence has to be backed up. You have to look at that evidence and make sure it's good. You know, I, I talk to people who don't believe the Apollo landings were real. I don't know if you're familiar with this. Um, you probably are. I all live online. You've seen it as a, as a joke everywhere. There are people who honestly think that NASA fake the Apollo moon missions in the, in the 60s and early 70s. And they claim, they call themselves skeptics. And that is so irritating to real skeptics because what they're doing is they're saying, I've looked at the evidence. And I say, no, you haven't. You know, you really haven't. Because if you look at the evidence, you, you probably realize you've been wasting your life all these years. Um, <laughs> they're not really examining what they're seeing. And, and when you're skeptical, you can also say, you know what, I can look at everything that's going on around me and base my conclusions on that as well. I don't just have to examine the evidence. If somebody comes up to me and espouses 20 different wacky conspiracy theories, there's not a whole lot of reason for me to necessarily believe them when they, when they tell me number 21. Um, I, it's okay to base things on a little bit of context. Um, you have to use logic, and that turns out to be complicated. It's really, really easy to get tricked. And there are a lot of logical fallacies you can use. I just used one, in fact, by using you know, an ad hominem and say, if somebody is crazy, I don't have to listen to what they say. That's not really true. But you can put it in context and, and try to figure things out from there. There are a lot of logical fallacies, fallacies like that. It, sound, it sounds like some, what somebody's saying is correct. You know, I've studied this for years, so I know what I'm talking about. But that's an argument from authority. I don't care about what you study it. You can still be wrong. So you need to be able to show me that evidence. Um, and the other thing, and this is the hardest thing, and as, as someone who is a practicing scientist for a long time, and someone who's a blogger now, uh, dropping an idea when it's wrong, yeah, that's, that's tough. Uh, there's nothing harder than, than putting yourself into a blog entry and, and that sort of thing for, for 200 words. And then somebody coming in and saying, oh yeah, here's exactly why you're wrong. And then you have to go back and say, yeah, I, I screwed that up. Um, I actually have a, a, an open uh, policy on my blog that when I make a mistake that is substantial, not if I score the data or, or a number that's not important, but if I have something where I've said something wrong, I don't edit the blog. I put a little strike through in the words where I'm wrong. And correct it, and in brackets said, yeah, screwed up here. Here's, here's what the correct stuff is. And it turns out you're really, really wrong a lot of a lot that can get confusing. Um, <laughs> but uh, that, that happens too. I've got a couple of, uh, on my old website, astronomy.com, which was the static website where I had, you know, HTML pages, movie reviews, and things like that. That's, um, that can get pretty confusing because there are times I've just screwed up a calculation and then based an entire, you know, entry on it. Um, on the blog, it's a little bit easier because, you know, it's a blog. People an hour later totally forgotten. 